Greetings everyone um, and welcome to your, um, I believe it's the uh, 37th uh, C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Um, today the subject is really deconstructors and um, as you see we're back in the uh, classes.cpp file. So um, that's just great. But there's going to be um, some uh, slash a lot of modifiers to it so um, pay attention. Also, it's very important that you followed along in my last tutorial, or uh, if you if you haven't, uh, then um, make sure that you know about um, dynamic memory, or else you are going to get lost in this tutorial. So um, go back and watch my previous one if you don't know what dynamic memory is. Well, I'm going to show you something new that has not really something to do with the structures, but uh, but uh, you know, just to um, show you that you can do it, I'm going to do it right now. So you move your rectangle constructor and type it in like this. And the same thing with this, except that we are going to declare this other rectangle constructor as a deconstructor. So now you type one of these um, weird signs, a uh, wave once in front of um, rectangle. And again, a, con a deconstructor can't have any um, can't have any return types, you know, like void or bool or string or anything. Nope. And um, it has to be named the same as the um, class name. The only difference from a of uh, the declaration of a deconstructor and a uh, constructor is that you put a um, one of these wave signs. I don't know what they're called in English in front of. And now you know. Uh, we just have the um, header of a uh, rectangle and the disruptor rectangle. So we're going to declare some bodies from now, and you can do that outside the class. Actually, you just type the class's name, rectangle dot rectangle, and now it's time to um, declare them with their body. And the body is just going to be the same. And that is a equals no x equals a and y equals b. But there's actually going to be some changes. Go up here in your um, x and y uh, things and put and uh, declare them as a pointer with the multiplier uh, star in front of. Now you are going to um, say x equals new int. And this uh, with the new statements and that kind of stuff, that's what we learned about in my previous tutorial on uh, dynamic memory. So again, if you don't know about that, well, go back and watch it. And y is also equal to go, uh, going to be equal to a new integer variables variable. And I remember to put the star in front of here, or else you get errors. And now it's time for declaring a constructor. And again, to do this, you simply type, whoops. I believe I have a caps log on I had rectangle because that's the name of the class dot and then one of these wave signs again rectangle because that's the name of the deconstructor and this deconstructor is going to delete x and delete y and also learned you about the delete keyword in uh, my dynamic memory tutorial so if you don't know what that is well then go back and watch it again um, uh, and what we got right here is actually um, not correct so we're going to put this and uh, we're going to declare some uh, some measurements for rectangle 2 and that's going to be um, 6 and 3 that's just some random number numbers I just typed in so now we created a um, rect a uh, rectangle object called rect with the measurements uh, four in a uh, width and three in height, and a rectangle two uh, or rect two uh, with the measurements six in width and three in height. And I was just going to print out um, four uh, multiplied with three and six multiplied with three. Um, and uh, well, if you hit if not now, you see what I mean. And now I get an error, and that is because we got to put the multiply star 
in front of X and in front of Y so it looks like this and again just to show area method that this is a pointer and now I still get errors and it will that's kinda confusing so um, well I'm just going to figure that out in a pulse right now I'm sorry about that I have a habit of you know doing things before I even check if they're working my tutorials but um Hey, that's just how stupid I am, so I'll see you after the boss. And welcome back. Well, I figured out the error right now, and uh, stupid as I am, I forgot that uh, in Java you reference uh, to a class, you gain access to a class by typing the name, and then a uh, period, and then the method you want to access. Well, in C++, two colons. So do that, and you should be good to go by hitting F9 right now like that and as you see it will say area 12 and um, area 18 so um, well and you see it doesn't say anything uh, and you know we can't quite know that it um, actually called the deconstructor that deleted the variables um, X and Y but well I can uh, tell you this much I know it did because it uh, actually if your constructor has been called well, then it's going to call the destructor uh, automatically, and uh, it'll do that once the uh, constructor, not the deconstructor, but when the constructors run out of scope, which means that once it did it, once it did its job, you know, once it uh, got past this line, setting the pointer of y equal to b, once it did that, then it will say, okay, now the re now the um, constructor is out of scope, so I'm going to call our um, deconstructor right here and that will delete the variables x and y so um... yep that was um... that and now i'm going to um... check something so um... two seconds and i'll be back again i'm sorry i have a lot of pauses in this video but um... i just haven't prepared things completely for this tutorial bear with me so um... i'll see you after another pause and welcome back well I just wanted to test, um, well I'm not going to tell you that because then you're just going to try it and then you know, yeah, that'll not be so good so I'll not tell you what I just tried to because you know it didn't work as I um, kinda had a little bit of hope it did but it didn't and it's nothing big really it's just a little test I ran for myself nothing that has anything to do with uh, you guys or this tutorial at all I just wanted to check it in the middle of my tutorial Perfect timing, perfect timing. I gotta, I gotta give myself one for that. Anyway, not talk about me. I uh, suppose this was your tutorial on uh, constructors and uh, deconstructors. And uh, yep, I'll see you in my next tutorial. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't understood um, this tutorial, well, go watch it again or ask me what you didn't understood, and uh, I'll try and help you out from there. So um, I'll see you in my next tutorial.